then to update the map, just type update and hit enter. To update the resource pack, update the data pack. It will update the command block data as well. And then it has been updated, simple as that. Hello, this is Dominexus. And today we're going to be updating an old map. So as you can see, we are currently on the latest version 1.21.1. And we're going to be updating my old chess map. So the latest version of the chess map is currently 1.20.2. And I made a copy of the world to load it in the latest version just so you can see how broken it is. Since 1.20.2, there were at least three breaking changes or three breaking updates. There's 1.20.3, which broke uh, resource packs, 1.20.5, which broke items, and 1.21 which broke uh, data pack directories. As you can see, nothing is working at all. Um, I can't go up between the layers or anything. The, uh, the map didn't even greet me. There are no particles around the pieces, just nothing at all is working. So I can exit that here. So then, in order to update this map here, we are going to be using the Easy Map Updater, otherwise known as Emu. Now this is a, uh, it's a Python script, or a set of Python scripts, I should say, for updating a map from an older version to the latest version. And so, to, to use this, we need to install two things first. You need to install Python uh, 3.12 or newer, and you need to install git bash. Now, git isn't completely necessary because you could just download the source code as a zip but generally you want to use git in order to clone the repo so you can keep up to date with updates and so the links to both of these will be in the description now once you have everything set up uh, once, once you have python and git installed you will want to use pip the uh, python package manager in order to install three dependencies. So there is nbt, there is requests, and there is pillow. And so I already have these on here, so it's just gonna say requirement already satisfied. But yeah, these are the three dependencies that you want to install. Pip install nbt, requests, and pillow. And once those are installed, we can get emu on here. So if if you have git, what you do is you right click and git bash here will appear on your drop down. And so then you go to GitHub here, you click this big green code button right here, this link. You copy that to the clipboard. And you go back to uh, you go back to git bash, git clone and then shift insert to uh, paste or you can right click and paste and you hit enter and it will clone the repo into here and here we have the easy map updater and uh before we run the easy map updater the world that is updated we're actually going to want to be called world that is the default name then once you have that set up, just go into the easy map updater folder and run the easy map updater Python script. And then to update the map, just type update and hit enter. It'll ask for confirmation. Just say yes to update the resource pack, update the data pack. Now at this point, it asks for you to optimize the world. So we head back into Minecraft first single player list. So it creates a couple extra copies. There's the original copy. Um, which is untouched by the program. There's world source, which is uh, similar to the original, but with certain kind of pre-processing modifications. It's used as the uh, the reference. And then there's the working copy world. This is the one we want to optimize, and this is the one that will be updated. So we just hit edit, optimize world. I know what I'm doing. And we just let that optimize. Okay, now once that's optimized, we head back to Emu, and then we say yes. Now it'll go through the regions, and 
um, and process those, process the entities. It will update the command block data as well. And then, do you wish to remove player score data from your map? We will say yes. So, um, the player scores are logged in player names here. And uh, this here is the, is the only registered player name. If you choose to remove player scores from your map, you have to check this file first because some maps have valid player names as scoreboard variables. And so you want to make sure you don't remove those, but you only remove the actual player names. So any non-player names you would remove from here, but there's only a player here, so I'll keep it the same. And then once you verify that there's only player names in there, because you know it says confirm when the non-player names have been removed. Yes, non-player names have been removed. Okay, do you wish to remove player data from level.dat? That is basically the uh, the single player instance of of the player want to remove that too usually and then it has been updated simple as that you just press enter to continue okay so then you just hop back in here reload now i'm going to hop into world play this is the play copy because you have the working copy which is meant to uh to publish and then you have world play which is meant to test that we don't enter into your uh into your working copy so i just enter into here and everything should be working just fine Okay, so I'm greeted. It says look up to jump. The platform things are working. The pieces greeted me. And uh, I can actually test the game here. Just turn that on. And I can grab the, uh, the other account here and hop on. Okay. So then I'll have my alt account play as white and my main account will play as black. Okay, and the cursor is working just fine. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to move here. Just to make the game as fast as possible, I'm going to play the shortest possible chess game. Right there. Yep, and everything seems to be working perfectly. The best part of this is that the entire process is automated. And so now I can just uh, I can just publish this as is. I don't even have to go into the files or anything. It just works. The links for all the downloads will be in the description below. The link to the GitHub repo, the link to Python, and the link to the Git bash download. The invite link to the official Emu Discord server will also be in the description. If you run into any issues while using Emu, you can go to the Discord server and report the issue. And you can also request map updates and features and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's all for now, and I hope you have a wonderful day.